Um, the Four Seasons is something that I've been performing by the Valley since I was really knee high to a grasshopper, and um, I've always felt that it's it's got so much innovative um, presence about it. But at the same time, I felt if I ever came to recording it, I'd like to to bring some of the modern day techniques that we have available to us um, into this piece, into my interpretation and my version and arrangement. So the version that I've done is much more daring. It's more um, virtuosic, more flashy, more difficult, more challenging. But at the same time, it was really a thank you on my 20th birthday, really, to all the fans out there because I've, you know, we've always been inundated with requests for me to record the Four Seasons. And so it's just a thank you to my fans to say, finally, here I have recorded it for you. Acoustic Fusion was something that I did for the first time on the Violin Player album and um, I'd always felt that as a music lover I had led such a cosmopolitan, colourful life. Um, I listened to music depending on my mood, classical one day, pop, acid jazz, rock and roll and I felt that as a professional musician I should have that same amount of liberty as one has as a music lover and so that's when I began developing the sound and the feel of, of um, Technoacoustic Fusion which is basically a fusion of all the styles that I love at that moment in time when I'm recording a particular album. approach a, a classical piece, I'm aware that I am only an interpreter. I'm not the originator or the creator of this music. And so I always say that I'm kind of the medium through which this music can be appreciated by present day generations. Um, without me, you, or without an interpretation, um, you couldn't hear what had been written hundreds of years ago. But I had no hand in creating the colours behind the music. So I kind of take second place. Um, I always try to inject my own personality and character to make it that bit more special because there are hundreds of recordings of the same um, concerto or classical piece around the world. So I've got to, you know, suit it to me individually. Um, but when I'm playing pop, I, I'm aware that I'm the creator. I've created this new style of music being accepted in this world. It's easy to identify with um, because it's what we live and breathe. You know, a lot of people can can see and identify with the, the emotions and the sounds that are involved. In, in the production of the music because they're living in the same era in the same time. So it's kind of a different approach, but I take both as seriously each, each, each other, and I have the same amount of, of love and passion for both of them. The best language for a film is music, um, and it opens up a lot of double entendres. We leave a lot of questions um, unanswered, so that when the people see the film on the widescreen cinema, they have a chance to participate in the ending um, and the emotions behind it, because um, you know, I see it as a real participation art, a silent film. You don't put words and plots in people's minds, but it's it's like music. The similar analogy is music. You know, I I think something sad, something else, somebody else thinks it's passionate. So there's all those fantastic scopes of emotions when you see a silent film. I think that I definitely had a childhood and a teenage. It was slightly different from my friends, but I I didn't see it as so abnormal because that's the only the only life I've ever known, um, growing up and, and working in the music business as a preteen, then a teenager, and then hitting 20, I think it's one of the most exciting and rewarding things in the world, really. 